Good morning and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotions. Let us begin in prayer. Lord, in this daily devotion, we regularly seek to draw close to your word. And we ask, Lord, that our understanding might be something beautiful and shared among your people in all we say and do this day. Lord, watch over us as we care for our families, as we care for our communities. And Lord, let us be inspired by what your word is saying to us um, as, as we reflect upon it, as when we go on to read it for ourselves. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you will engage us in, in purposeful acts and in, in a renewed sense of our calling before you, and that uh, people will um, come into the fellowship that your spirit gives us, um, gives us all as we seek to work in Jesus' name, just as we pray. Amen. And turning today to the Old Testament, we turn to the prophet, um, to the prophet Malachi, reading in chapter 3, where it reads at verse 10, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts. If I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. In a roundabout way, the the calling on all of us is to contribute and to share in that contribution um, to the common work of the church. Uh, we see that very much in the book of Acts when it talks about people coming together um, and around the disciples, bringing all their possessions and holding things in common. But the idea of tithing goes much further back. It goes back to the times of Abraham. And it's a time, it, it's an act of entrusting um, the resources we've been blessed with, the opportunities we've been given to, to honor them back to God in some way. God's not asking for everything. Even though everything that we have, everything that we are, comes from God. What God asks us to respond with is an honorable gift. And the, the term tithe means a tenth. Some organizations, some churches have really taken that idea of tithe quite literally and, and really command a, 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 a clear percentage. Um, we can talk gross net, but all in all, it doesn't matter. What it's meant to be is an honorable gift, a gift that represents honor to the one who has given the, given the first gifts. And what God says is, as you're honoring me with what you have and who you are, I'm going to honor you all the more. This isn't a fair exchange. It's never a fair exchange with God. And when it comes to God's blessings, that as much as we pour into the storehouses of the church or into the work of missions, uh, into the engagement uh, of ourselves in the time that we give, as much as we're giving, remember, God has given everything. God's whole being is invested in us. And, and that is, a, it's a powerful realization to say that God wants to, spend eternity walking with us, spending time with us, cherishing us, celebrating us. And can we not honor God with what we have? I mean, whose is it really? So take the time as you enjoy the gifts that you've been given. As we look forward to the, to the bounty of harvest, maybe you're counting the flowers on your tomato plants going, it's going to be bountiful. Maybe you're looking at the bank account saying, wow, I've been blessed. And maybe you're struggling in some areas and you're looking for help. Know that as you look and find that help, as you ask for that help, but as it is given, that ultimately it's the Lord who's providing for you. And what an opportunity for rejoicing and for sharing and for looking for the chance to pass those blessings on. God bless and keep you and all you have and all you do. Amen.